Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you and today I am going to tell you what blasting and cruising is. But before we get into that, just a big shout out and thank you to everybody out there supporting the channel. I cannot thank you enough. The likes, the subs, the shares, the comments, the emails, everything you guys are doing is amazing. If you haven't yet, please do these things. Subscribe, share, whatever you can do. It helps the channel grow and it allows me to produce more and more content for you daily. So that being said, let's jump into this video. Constant questions on this. This is one of the things that probably bothers me the most, that gets talked about the most, and gets thrown around far too loosely, especially for my comfort level. And, and I'm going to get into that and explain to you. But it is something that I believe people don't truly grasp what it really is. I think that people kind of know, but I don't think they understand the repercussions or the long-term issues that can occur with blasting and cruising. So what is blasting and cruising? So let me start with this. Testosterone replacement therapy is for people that have cases of hypogonadism, which is chronic low testosterone production, okay? Some people have severe cases to the point where, and this could kill you, it could be fatal. So it's no joke. So that's why with people that are on TRT that, that actually need the testosterone injections, this is for their overall health. This is to keep them going. This is to improve quality of life. But this is not something that just everybody should should be on. And I, I've always come out here and openly admit to everybody, I'm one of those people that did that. And it's a regret I've always had. And I always try to share with you why you shouldn't just do this. And a lot of times I see guys in their 20s that are doing this. I was at least, and this doesn't make it right, at all, because it's still not right. But at, at, for in my case, at least I was in my 30s, um, and it's not having what could be a far more potentially negative long-term effect as somebody that's still growing, you know, going through their growth phases, and and they're they're not fully developed yet, and they're using anabolic steroids and things like that before being fully developed. Then we've got a whole slew of other problems, but that's an entirely different video for another day. Um, but regardless, you never want to just do it like somebody like me that did to just do it just because that's the thing to do because you don't want a PCT because you'll never recover and you're never going to keep gains. And you're never going to do this and you're never going to do that. Is it harder to keep gains if you don't just go back to TRT? Sure, it is. Um, is it after every cycle you do a little bit harder to recover? Yeah, it is. Are you eventually going to probably need to be on TRT if you abuse steroids? Probably. But it doesn't mean that you just do it just because, because it doesn't always come out and work out that way. Most people, and we'll tell you, when you say you're only going to run one cycle, it's a crock of shit. You're going to run more than that. But some people just continue to recover well. I don't know why. Um... I'm not saying that that's common. More people don't than do. But a lot of people, they'll run strict PCTs. They won't run big-ass cycles with a bunch of different compounds. And they recover fine for a long time. Some people, you know, will run a few cycles and then choose to not anymore. And they're fine. You know, there's a million different scenarios. And there's a million different people that have a million different body responses. So you can't say anything with great certainty. You can only go off of experience, assumptions, whatever. And what I know is this. You should never just blast and cruise because some meathead tells you that it's the thing to do. So what is blasting and cruising? Blasting and cruising is this. You run, let, let's say that you run a cycle. Test, DECA, just test and DECA. And instead of running a post-cycle therapy when you're done, you just continue on with testosterone as if you're on testosterone replacement therapy. You never actually come off. Now, obviously, you drop your dosing down to a TRT dose, which is going to be in like that 100 to 150 milligram range, which I covered in, in how much testosterone uh, replacement therapy would you need um, in that video. So I would highly recommend that you watch that. But So like if you were on TRT and you decided you wanted to do a blast, you do your little blast, test and DECA, raise your doses, then you drop right back down to your TRT dose as opposed to to letting your esters clear and then running a post-cycle therapy. Now, you still need time off after every blast, but what I always recommend is time on equals time off. Well, if you're doing a cycle with a post-cycle, you run a 12-week cycle, you let your esters clear for two weeks. So there, you, how many weeks you got? You're at 14, then you run a four-week post-cycle. That's 18 weeks that you were on, 
okay? So you need 18 weeks off. If you're not on uh, going to do a, a post cycle and you're just going to blast and cruise and go right back into your cruise, cruise being what your TRT dose would be, it's just a different way of saying it, you would have been on 12 weeks, but then you drop right back down to your cruise, so you really only need 12 weeks technically in between cycles. Now, I would say that's the minimum on both spectrums, whether you're on blasting and cruising or not, but the the point here is that with the blast and cru uh, cruise you're cutting out the pct and essentially cutting out the longer recovery time but long term when you're doing these things like if you're in your 20s you're going to extremely hinder your chance of of having children later for example and you're running it you, you got to understand that when you're on trt you're on trt for life can you come off yeah but if you come off you got to understand the consequences and they're not fun and they could never really correct themselves, especially the older that you get. You'll probably never fully recover your testosterone back. You'll probably have required TRT even trying to come off. So, you know, you got to understand what you're doing and think long term. A lot of guys will go, oh, I don't want to have kids. And I even, in my 20, I don't fucking care. I don't think about things like that, but you certainly do if you meet the right woman, for example, or as you get older, your things change, your your mind, your priorities, all of these things change. You start thinking a hell of a lot different. I've just turned 40 and I can tell you I think a hell of a lot different from just 35, let alone 25. I wish I was 25 again so I could know everything again. You realize as you get older that you don't. And that's why people like me now get fr uh, so frustrated with younger versions of myself. And then I realize how difficult I was. You have to think long term. If you don't think long term, you're going you're gonna to set yourself up for a lot of unwanted problems. Um, and I'm trying to help you prevent all of these things. Blasting and cruising is very simple. It's just like being on TRT. You start with your TRT dose. You're, you're at 100, 125 milligrams. You decide to blast. You say you bump your test up to 500. Then you add in D-ball and DECA or whatever. You just like run in a cycle. And instead of running a post-cycle therapy, you go right back down to your TRT or cruise dose and then continue on. And it's just a nonstop cycle of blasting and then cruising and blasting and then cruising and hey when you're cruising you can run SARMs in between on your cruise just like you would in between cycles after a post cycle therapy it's it's not rocket science um it's it's more or less understanding that you when you're cruising you can't cruise on 250 300 milligrams of testosterone that is just staying on that's not a trt dose that's just staying on which is going to shorten your lifespan so these are just things that you need to understand, be aware of, and think long term. That's blasting and cruising. Uh, I hope that explains everything and sheds some light and gives you my opinion on it. So that being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.